Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this year's admittedly rather unusual Read Poster Reveal Ceremony. My name is Tanner Louie. I'm the Outreach and Evening Librarian at Hoover Library, and I'm also your host for the evening. Thank you all so much for taking the time to be here to help us celebrate our fantastic honorees this year. As we all know, COVID-19 has thrown a wrench in a lot of plans, but we were determined to make sure the Read Posters went on because, let's be honest, we could all use a little extra celebration right now. Before we announce our 2020 honorees and officially reveal their posters, a little background information. The American Library Association began the Read Poster campaign more than 25 years ago, and it has since become an internationally recognized program that promotes a simple but powerful message. And that message is to read. Some of the world's best known faces from the 80s to now have graced these posters, from Stephen Hawking to Emma Watson to David Bowie. By capturing high profile, admired celebrities with their favorite books, the campaign promotes reading and literacy, something we library folk take pretty seriously. At Hoover Library, our admired celebrities are members of the McDaniel community who exceptionally support, promote, and utilize the library and its resources and services. During National Library Week, we honor six standout individuals who have consistently gone above and beyond in their support and utilization of Hoover Library's resources and services. We are so grateful to have this opportunity to recognize and thank them. So, without any further ado, let's get started. These posters will hang on the second floor of Hoover Library for the next year, starting whenever we can finally get back on campus to enjoy them. Our first honoree is Ethan Cortez, a political science major graduating this spring. Ethan is a constant familiar figure on the first floor of Hoover Library. He's so often seen at one of the tables outside the librarian's offices that it's been joked that the table should be labeled Ethan's office. Not only does Ethan use the library for his own classwork, he also invites and encourages others into the space, whether as part of a meeting with fellow ROTC cadets or to use the whiteboards for group work. As Ethan's nominator put so eloquently, it warms my heart to know that because of Ethan's leadership and his personal use of the library, many other students are coming to know and love the library as well. We hope Ethan will carry this passionate library patronage through the rest of his life, wherever he may end up. Next up is Dr. Ellie Engel, Assistant Professor in Environmental Studies and the Coordinator of Agri-Food Systems Programming for the Singleton Matthews property. This is only Ellie's second year here at McDaniel, and yet she has already established herself as an avid library supporter. Our librarians can attest to the great work she has done with us so far. She has worked with our science librarian to review the environmental studies collections, evaluating materials, and requesting new ones. She's collaborated on a book display for Earth Week with myself, the outreach librarian, and helped plan and put on a documentary screening event with an environmental studies student, Kat Dixon, for the One Maryland One Book program. But the example that most tugged at our library heartstrings was the one provided by her nominator, a student who explained how Dr. Engel shows her students all the library has to offer and encourages them to actually use the library's materials and resources. With all Ellie has done with us so far, we are beyond excited to continue working with her. Our next honoree is a lecturer in English and the director of the Writing Center, Vanessa Florinikoski. In both of her roles at McDaniel, Vanessa makes impressive use of Hoover Library. As an English instructor, she is always one of the first to request library instruction sessions for her English and FYS classes. In those sessions, she stresses the importance of learning information literacy and research skills by using the library's resources, which is a crucial push students need to actually start building those skills. As the director of the Writing Center, Vanessa works closely with the library to make sure students are getting help where they need it by coordinating for tutors to be available in the library during some evening hours. She has also worked with us to plan events like Citation Week and the Long Night Against Procrastination. We're lucky to have Vanessa and grateful to have this chance to tell her thank you. Next is our second student honoree, Hannah Honick. In addition to being a psychology major set to graduate this spring, Hannah is also one of the library's student workers, providing a helping hand to everyone who stops by the circulation desk. Hannah is an exemplary employee, prompt, reliable, and knowledgeable. But the really impressive thing about Hannah, and the biggest reason she was nominated and selected as an honoree, is how she goes above and beyond to promote the library's resources and events and learn as much as she can about the library world. This semester, Hannah took the initiative to reach out to the library staff to find out more about what each area of the library does and even pick up some extra work to gain more library-related experience. 
We will certainly miss having Hannah on the Hoover Library team, but we wish her all the luck in the world in her journey to becoming a library professional. Our penultimate honoree of the evening is Dr. Kathy Mangan. As a professor of English and the Joan Devlin Cooley Chair in Creative Expression in the Arts, Kathy has long been one of the library's biggest boosters. Whether contributing to the library's collection, drawing inspiration from the library's collection for her poetry, encouraging her students to use literature in the library for their studies, managing the rich rhyme room, or bringing a number of students too high to count to the library for instruction sessions, Kathy is a perfect example of a Hoover Library supporter. As one of her nominators put it, it's shocking that Kathy has never been honored with something like this that celebrates the very lifestyle that she leads. Read. Let's change that. And we completely agree. We are so thrilled to finally bestow Kathy this honor before her imminent retirement and thank her for everything she has done to utilize and support Hoover Library. Our final honoree of 2020 is Haley Morgan, Accommodation Specialist in SAS and McDaniel alumna of 2016 and 2020. When nominations for this year's Read Poster honors opened, Haley was obviously the first and foremost person that came to many people's minds. Her nominators gushed about how Haley lives and breathes Hoover Library. Through her studies for both her bachelor's and master's degrees here at McDaniel, Haley has taken full advantage of everything Hoover has to offer, keeping our circulation and interlibrary loan departments very busy with her requests for materials, even during academic breaks. Haley is a true lifelong learner, and she wisely uses the library to build on that passion. We are truly honored to have someone like Haley in our midst, utilizing and supporting us. There you have it. Those are our 2020 Read Poster honorees. Let's give them all one last well-deserved, separate but together round of applause. I, on behalf of the rest of the Hoover Library team, want to tell them thank you once more. We truly appreciate all of your hard work, passion, and commitment to not only supporting Hoover Library, but also making McDaniel College a truly life-changing place. Thank you to everyone who attended our first ever YouTube premiere watch party, and to those who checked out the video later. Happy National Library Week to you all, and stay safe.